Continuing coverage tonight on the governor's plan to promote women's empowerment. Within that agenda, there is a proposal to eliminate the statute of limitations when it comes to rape in the second and third degree. Marley Tuskis spoke with the Oneida County District Attorney to learn more about it. If you, we have a victim that comes in and the statute of limitations up by like three days. How do you, exp how do you explain that to somebody and expect them to understand it? For majority of felony cases, including most rape cases, the statute of limitations is five years. What that means is if somebody commits a crime, let's say, for example, a robbery, and five years in one day go by, they could literally throw a press conference and say, I was the one that robbed the bank five years ago, and there's nothing we can do because the statute of limitations ran. Under the governor's 2019 women's justice agenda, one of the initiatives would be to rid of the statute of limitations for rape in the second and third degrees. Rape in the first degree does not have statute of limitations. These are cases where a lot of times it takes, um, it takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of time for people to, to come to a situation where they feel comfortable bringing, you know, bringing it forward. Um, and a lot of times that might be five, six years. But as with any case, the longer it takes to bring charges forward, the harder it becomes to prosecute. These are very difficult cases to prove. So when you're talking about a sexual assault, um, most of the time it's a he said, she said situation. So right off the get go, it's, it's all about, you know, who the, the jury believes. Um, and typically what carries the day for us is forensics um, and, you know, in because you're talking about things that happened a long time ago, most time there are no forensics to support the, the claim. Even still, McNamara says he would like to see this change happen. I look at it from a victim standpoint. I, I think, you know, victims and victims' rights and being victims being able to get their justice is, I think that's what we're here for. Reporting, Marley Tuskis, Eyewitness News.